Hi, I'm Dr. Abigail Chaffin. I'm an Associate Professor of Surgery in the Tulane University Division of Plastic Surgery and the Medical Director at the MedCentrist Wound Healing Institute at Tulane. Today I'll be talking about a case of usage of the Myriad Graft in, con uh, in conjunction with flap advancement for reconstruction of axillary hydrodenitis separativa. This patient is a 30-year-old female who had a history of Hurley stage 3 chronic right axillary hydradenitis separativa. This patient had failed multiple courses of antibiotics, incision and drainage of abscesses, and local wound care, and presented with a chronically inflamed axilla with purulent drainage. I planned an excision surgery uh, with reconstruction with local fasciocutaneous flap advancement. These type of surgeries are plagued with higher risks of wound dehiscence and wound infection due to the pre-existent chronic inflammatory disease and infection. Here we can see the patient with the multiple axillary uh, draining sinuses. This is after resection in the operating room uh, with full thickness skin and subcutaneous resection over the axilla. We can see a very large surgical defect, 15 by 15 centimeters in size and approximate 3 centimeters in, in depth. The Myriad graft was placed at the wound bed and affixed with absorbable sutures to both help decrease the dead space, decrease hematoma and seroma, and also to help modulate the inflammatory environment of the wound to help decrease wound infection and wound dehiscence. She had advancement of fasciocutaneous flaps from the chest wall and upper arm for primary closure of this wound. Skin retention sutures were placed, iodine impregnated gauze was placed in between each suture down to the wound base as a wick. At three weeks, the patient was fully healed, sutures were removed, and she has good axillary function with no flexion contracture.